okay so this monitor is right now running at you know 200 hertz and at 10 bit depth okay and the thing is if i want to change it to 240 hertz which is its maximum and click on apply it takes a second and uh, you can see it will set the refresh rate to 240 hertz but color depth will go back to 8 bits so now, right now this monitor is running in uh, display port and so yeah that's the limitation if you want uh, 10 hertz you'll have to drop it down to 200 hertz and then it will be possible like this Another thing is that this monitor is a uh, factory, it comes uh, AMD FreeSync certified, but uh, if you want to see if G-Sync works with it or not for NVIDIA graphic cards, you can see that uh, it has a setting that we can enable it for the ViewSonic mo uh, monitor, but there is a warning here that selected display is not validated as G-Sync compatible. But regardless of that, G-Sync works on it, you can see it is enabled and yeah. So as you can see, right now we are running uh, NFS Unbound and uh, you can see on the FPS counter right now it is uh, at uh, 200 FPS, you can see it is running and as I play this game, you'll see there will be, there won't be, you won't see any, you know, tearing. Absolute cinema. I'll make some donuts just to show you know <coughs> the world revolving around you can see absolute no no tearing whatsoever g-sync works you know flawlessly Another thing for monitor, let me show you the menu options, whatever we have available. So right now, you can see input is at to display port and volume. I'm not using view mode. You can see we have multiple modes here, standard and all, but not if you want to do, you know, uh, like ViewSonic has set up uh, predefined modes for it. I'm using it in standard, but other modes are also available. Okay. Let's go back and let's see the color edges. So I, I have tried my best to, you know, match this, uh, match the setting for this monitor and for my LG ones uh, as much as I could to do an appropriate apple to apple comparison. So you can see contrast is a 70, brightness 30, same is currently set for my LG monitor and all colors are set to, you know, 50. Same goes for color saturation, all colors set to same uh, basically same value so right now it is 100 all colors you will find out is 100 only and color uh, temperature i have set to user color and same maximized everything uh, one key difference between this and uh, lg1 is that uh, the similar setting in lg1 looks uh, we, we have to set you know i'll show you when we are setting color temperature here and set to uh, custom mode so RGB I have set to 50 50 50 for all of them and same goes for the, all the six colors so that is that I'll show this uh, one more time the remaining settings okay so as I was talking about the color edges so color temperature I have set to user color mode is native if you want to restrict it to a particular color space we can do it from here color space is RGB right now it is set to auto but of course it, I'm seeing RGB only uh, the other one is for basically printing purposes. So color range I set to full range. That is why 10 bit is uh, available. And HDR I have turned it off because that uh, 
So the HDR capability of this monitor is not uh, why you will be buying this actually. <laughs> Same goes for the LG one also. So you can see sharpness, blue light filter we have inbuilt in the display itself. If you want to do that, black stabilization, advanced ECR, response time is set to standard. And lastly, you can see language. You can see AMD FreeSync Premium, it is turned on right now. And I just showed you uh, that uh, G-Sync is possible or not on this monitor. Yes, it is possible. It's just not uh, uh, validated, but it is working fine. OST. So yeah, if you want backward compatibility, you can also reduce the display port version if you want. And yeah, so that is all about this uh, monitor's uh, UI. together. I'll build it myself after I turn on everyone in my way! Chose to destroy it. 
Just like Shetan, you are banished from Iacon. It didn't have to end this way. This isn't over, Prime. The line between friend and enemy is not as clear as I once believed. Once it's crossed, there's no coming back, because some transformations are permanent. Hey, Megatron is Prime, nice. Oh, uh, yeah, well, he's my hero. The greatest Prime to ever live. <laughs> I'm D-16. Orion Pax. You ever mined Energon before? No. You? No. I hear it's dangerous. I'll tell you what. You watch my back, I promise to watch yours. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, so a quick shot on this monitor what it can support on you know hdmi 2.1 right now it is connected via hdmi cable to this uh, hp laptop and you can see the maximum supported uh, uh, resolution with 1440p we can have res uh, maximum refresh rate as 144 hertz and uh, you can see we are using 10 8 bit colors now if you want to use 10 bit color here you'll have to drop the refresh rate to 60 hertz if i click on apply it'll take a second and yes now you can see we have the option for color depth to 10. now i do not know why it is showing 12 bit as an option here but uh, that doesn't make any difference here so yeah that's about it with uh, that that is the possibility and uh, again if i want to run it at 144 hertz i'll have it will automatically bounce back to uh, 8 bits yes and you can see sorry yeah so 144 hertz and uh, 8 bit color <laughs> Okay, so another cool thing that I wanted to show about this monitor is this has a free sync as I showed in previous video and I'll just double confirm that it is currently in on state. You can see it is on. So uh, it is currently on and right now it is hooked up with a via HDMI port to this uh, HP Victor 16 laptop. This laptop does not feature any uh, you know, uh, MUX switch. So you cannot exactly switch the output of this uh, port to which graphic card you want. So this has an RTX 3050 inside and uh, you know default 5600H uh, uh, AMD graphics. So right now you can see I have the Adrenaline software open. You can see it, it, it does not feature any AMD FreeSync setting that I can you know turn on. It, it just does not have it. And uh, similarly if I open the nvidia graphic control center here also you can see the nvidia g-sync option is uh, uh, missing but uh, the display is currently running at uh, 1440p and 144 hertz now the interesting thing that i wanted to show you here is that despite uh, uh, any uh, uh, g-sync or uh, free sync setting missing in the windows when i am playing the game i noticed uh, you know no tearing at all so just Take a look at this footage for a while. You won't notice any kind of tearing happening. Let's make some uh, donuts. And you won't find any tearing. So that's an interesting uh, thing I wanted to share about this monitor. That uh, even if I guess uh, your uh, graphics graphic card does not support uh, G-Sync, which is, I, I know, not possible. But uh, I do not have a theory for this. I So that's just an interesting share. And I think it is pretty evident by now. I don't think you can see any tearing happening. And you can see it is, uh, the game is running at 60 FPS, which is uh, obviously according to what uh, RTX 3050 can drive. 
So yeah. So again, not hearing at all. Thanks for watching. Bye.